Hello and welcome to another Two Minutes Tuesday technical training. Let's get started. This schematic shows how most protein therapeutics are produced and purified using mammalian cell culture. Our focus today is optimizing cell culture. Many factors impact this, and one of these is sparging. For the purposes of bioreactor cell culture, sparging is the introduction of air, and more importantly, oxygen, to the cell culture media. Once the oxygen is dissolved in the media, it is used rapidly by the cells and therefore must be fed continuously via specially designed spargers. However, oxygen is sparingly soluble in culture medium, thus how the sparging of oxygen is conducted becomes very critical. Low oxygen solubility and its rapid uptake by cells means that dissolved oxygen concentration can limit cell growth. The amount of dissolved oxygen is impacted by two major factors, interfacial area and residence time. Smaller bubbles have a larger surface area to volume ratio, or interfacial area, than large bubbles. Increasing the interfacial area allows oxygen to dissolve more easily and quickly into the culture media. The transfer of oxygen from the bubbles to the cell culture media also requires adequate time for the oxygen to dissolve and transfer from the bubble to the media. Small bubbles created by the sparger rise more slowly through the bioreactor, which translates to longer residence times. The design and location of the sparger relative to the impeller location are critical design considerations for adequate distribution of bubbles in the bioreactor. Typical sparger designs can be grouped into two major categories, macro and micro. Open pipe and ring spargers generate larger bubbles compared to sintered spargers. The table shows the characteristics of the various types of spargers, but generally speaking, sintered spargers are used for single use or small scale operations where cleaning is not a major concern. For large scale production, ring and open pipe spargers are more commonly used. Thank you for listening. And for more information on this and other bioprocessing topics, including expert interviews, please go to our Two Minutes Tuesday archive. Have a great day.